Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna walk through how you can find awesome distributors in your local area for your Amazon FBA wholesale business. If you're new here, my name is Mike. I've been selling on Amazon for a little over six years and specifically within the wholesale business model. I have personally emailed, called, fill out, filled out forms on probably a few thousand distributors in the past six years. Now, as you can see, we're gonna utilize Google Maps, but it's about the keywords that you use in your search to find great suppliers. Without wasting any time, let's just pick a city that is on the coast and we're gonna get started. So let's jump right into it. Now, in the beginning of a wholesale business, you want to identify probably five to 10 companies you can reach out to. And I find that the best companies that you can work with are typically around the coast, if you follow my mouse here. So we're talking Seattle, California, Texas, Florida, New York, New Jersey, this whole area. So let's just start in the Washington and Baltimore area and use this exact keyword phrase. So you're going to type in food, products, supplier. And we're going to see what populates. Now, from here, there's going to be a multitude of companies that populate on the left here. So performance food service. This is, I believe, PFG. Now, once you pull up a company, what is it we're looking for? Most great companies, they have infrastructure. So when you look at the Google satellite view, the first thing I like is that we see trucks, a lot of them, <laughs> crazy amount of trucks, uh, branded building. That's good. And it's pretty much just all trucks and trucks and trucks and more trucks. We have loading docks. So everything checks out here. Now, I want to know a little bit more about the company. Now, I personally know PFG is one of the larger distributors, national distributors in the United States, but you'll see a common trend on most of these large distributors is they're typically bragging about something. So if we scroll down here, this is what I mean by, <laughs> by bragging. 10,000 plus products, 500,000 monthly deliveries, 21,000 dedicated associates, we service 125,000 customers, 65 distribution centers. You see how like it's all, all these distributors pretty much are doing the same thing. How many SKUs, how long they've been in business. Like we've been in business since 1955. The, the, this is the process of actually going through and kind of vetting the company. The next thing I'm looking for is an about us section. If you want to read more about them and then also check the satellite view. Um, and just look for infrastructure. So I can tell this is one of, one of PFG's big headquarters, shipping and receiving headquarters. And one thing I do want to point out is usually on the review, the reviews right here, I can almost guarantee you without, I did not plan this ahead of time. We're going to look into reviews. I bet you it's all people, it's truckers complaining about how busy the facility is, which is ironically an a indication of actually a good distributor. So I started this by lowest rating. The receiving office gave them a BOL pertaining to trucks, horrible place to deliver pertaining to trucks. Truckers pertaining to trucks. Do not take a load here pertaining to trucks. It's all pertaining to trucks. So it's not actually about the distributor itself. So something to keep in mind. Your next step is going to be filling out a form, sending an email and making a phone call. Any of those three. The first thing I want to look for is if they have a form on their website. So if we go to join our family, become a customer, right? This is business to business. Again, bragging about everything, right? Big infrastructure, 150,000 products. And let's see if they have any type of link. Become a customer. Not only do you gain access to premium products. Okay, cool. So start today. Tell us about your business. This is pretty normal. What we're usually looking for is uh, requests for business information, an EIN number, anything along those lines. So you need your LLC, your EIN number, and a resale permit within your state. All right, whatever state you're doing business primarily, like whatever state you, you're based out of, you need a wholesale permit, resale permit. There's a bunch of names for that. So what I'm looking for is a company that's not only like fish meats produce. And I get this comment all the time saying, Mike, why do you always pull up grocery distributors? Well, what products are at your local grocery store? Everything. Yes, they have the fish, the meats, the produce, but they also have the whole beauty section, the whole vitamin section. So there are a lot of product opportunities from so many of these regional companies. 
So here's an example right here of a company that when I start cruising around their website, I don't like that you can just add this to cart. And if we click sign in here, yeah, email, password, you can buy the product. And it's like a bulk, like a bulk retailer, essentially. This is not what we're looking for. We are looking for more so like the first one where you're opening a business to business relationship with them. So we're in pretty much the same area. I just changed up my search to general merchandise distributor. Now it did populate quite a few results that really weren't of interest to me, but after maybe a couple minutes of clicking around here on the map, this one was quite interesting. It's listed as a beverage distributor, but when I went to the website right here, it says over four, 145 years of service, if this is their actual warehouse, that's really good. Look at that, full pallets of coffee creamer, Gatorade. I mean, this looks fantastic in terms of big bulk distribution. Now, when you guys see something like this, if you're going to look at maybe candy or grocery distributors or C store distributors, yeah, we are a full line convenience store distributor. So some of these type of companies, they will have an entire program where they send a rep into a convenience store to help them continue to stock their products properly, right? That's why you see things like food service. And that's why you see just a few cases of product, like all this type of stuff, all the hostess would be on the, on the shelf. So just looking at this website here, we see they have a pretty large facility, right? Infrastructure, the checkbox infrastructure looks like a, right here. They got a pallet of all the same product. Okay, so I wanted to actually see the, the volume of what they're carrying here. So this is great. Most distributors don't even have this on the website, but it says our warehouse. And what you guys are looking for is full pallets, a full skid is what it's called, of specific SKUs. So I would absolutely be interested in looking at an entire catalog of what they have. So this company completely checks out. I'd fill out the forms make the phone calls, send the emails. I think you guys get it by this point, but notice we've only gone through a few companies, like two or three companies, and this is just on Google Maps. So when people ask Mike, how do I find good distributors? Great distributors are found when you do the digging, you change up your keywords. So I picked a popular city, I picked Baltimore, and then all we typed in is food product supplier, general merchandise distributor, and you can switch these terms out for supplier, distributor, anything like that. And when you zoom out, you start to realize we can do this in any city along the coast. You could do this in Miami. You can do this in Houston, Texas. You can do this in San Francisco, California, and quite literally any city in the United States, you can do these same exact searches and find your local distributors. Now, if you stay this long in the video, this is one of the main points. When you find a company where you're like, man, I wish I could just find like 10 more of those companies and we'll go open all of those accounts. If you copy the name of this, the distributor and you paste it into Google, there is a section typically off to the side that say people also searched for. So I pasted the distributor here into Google and I go down, there's not a ton of results, but once you click on one of these, what you will see is it's gonna pull up a whole bunch of similar, and it looks like beverage companies for the most part. We're not so interested in those specific three companies that populated here but it's to put us down the rabbit hole. All right, guys, I wanted to switch this up a little bit. So we are now over on the West Coast with the same exact search, just to show you. A lot of times when you type in like grocery distributor or something, it doesn't populate great results. So if you notice here, I'm typing in food product supplier. Google recognizes this exact phrase, food products supplier, and it assigns it to a lot of these different companies. So I've had really good results with this. So we'll click around this area, um, CTC International Foods. So they're an Asian. So this is like a specialty grocer. Their site is not very good, but that's not super uncommon. Now, this is interesting to me because this is more of like a niche grocery distributor. This is actually a pretty good lead so far. I don't know anything about this company, but so far so good. Let's read about their services. Uh, wholesale looks like they import directly from Japan, China, Korea. So they offer LTL and FTL shipments are available for their out of state customers. Looks like they have a couple different locations, national e-commerce sales. Looks like Asianfoodgrocer.com or email them here or just shoot them a message. So 
once again, make the phone calls, send the emails. If they have a product selection on their website, for example, try to find something you're interested in. And the way we do that is simply manually searching the products on Amazon. So before I'm making any phone calls, I'm doing a little bit of research. I'm doing some digging. So I picked a random category here on their website. I found a random product that caught my eye. I'm like UCC coffee, never heard of it, but they're a specialty distributor. So let's look it up. I looked up UCC coffee. This is the exact same product selling a hundred plus times in the past month for 57.77. Let's take a look here. And this is not a product research video, but the first thing I noticed UCC Japan is the primary seller of this product. And it looks like a little indication of IP complaints here. But what does this tell us? 20,000 a month in revenue across these two variations from this company. So this company has in-demand products, which is just another thing we can check off our list and just another reason to reach out to them as a distributor to start buying some product for our wholesale business. Now guys, finding a good supplier to buy from is just step one, knowing what products to buy, where you need to be at on price and learning, building relationships and negotiation is, is the primary part of this business. And it's where a lot of people get stuck. This is why we have our paid community. So we can sit down, I'll work directly with you. You get access to our discord, our course, one-on-one -on -one calls with me and bi-weekly group sessions with everybody in the group. So whether you have your first suppliers or you need more companies to buy from, or you just personally want my help to sit down with you like this and find awesome companies we can work with, buy the product, place the purchase order, and also have me review your products from your purchase orders before you spend the money. So if that type of one-on-one -on -one support and kind of holding your hand, walking you through the business is what you're looking for, I will leave a link in the description below. So get out there, find more companies, implement exactly what we walked through here in this video. And I'm sure you'll find a handful of companies in your area or nearby. I'll see you guys in the next video.